Get excited, because it's that time. Time for me to tell you about the Elimination Chamber preview match. What's the plan? Before the weekend's Elimination Chamber premium live event, we're holding a preview match on SmackDown. A six-woman tag. You, Zia Lee, and Lacey Evans versus Carmella, Bailey, and Dewdrop. Fine by me. Lacey Evans is the last minute scratch tonight, so this Elimination Chamber preview is now officially a two versus three handicap match. No details on Lacey Evans. absence yet, but it's certainly not like her to no-show. Yeah, definitely a head-scratcher, but these five superstars will have to do their best to ignore the distraction and focus on the business at hand. Oh, Strong man. right form. Ooh, merciless-looking blow. And Mella now finding herself on the wrong side of momentum. Mella needs to rethink her strategy now. Fisherman's Buster! Lifting them up. Relative ease, followed up with a discus punch. Carmella may be in a bad way here. Handicap matches are all about strategy, and right now, her strategy simply isn't the effective one. But they can always change. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Takes another trip to the skies, and it pays off once again. Shining wizard! Bella able to defend against that. She wants to put an end to this. Spear! Ooh! Spear! Spear! Up and cover flex! Cover! Maybe not! Here's Bailey landing her on the outside. That turns it around for Carmella. Shoots up the top row from the top. Oh no, there could be trouble working for her with this submission maneuver. Trap and no way to go. Except on a save just in the nick of time. Decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Dewdrop looking powerless to every attack. This is all of Dewdrop's fortitude getting tested. Yeah. Ah, drop toe on face first. Yeah. Leg sweep from the outside. Very clever. As the lane drops, Fisherman suplex. A lot of damage taken on by Carmella. I'm not sure how this will pan out. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Shining wizard! That's right, Corey. That was a shining wizard. Spear! Spear! That was vicious.
I gotta admit, I'm a little spooked by the whole Lacey Evans thing. I, I know we haven't seen eye to eye lately, but that's weird, right? I meant what I said before. Just because we disagree sometimes doesn't mean that you can't still come to me for advice or guidance. And yeah, very weird. Seems pointed. I would have even pointed a finger at my client given how ruthless she is. But I was with Dewdrop right before the match. Couldn't have been her. I get taking no prisoners in the ring, but pushing a lighting rig on someone is a whole other level. Well, you know my guess. What's your guess? Seriously? Hmm. Is there anyone who would benefit from an open spot in the match? Maybe someone who benefited in the past when a lighting rig fell on your tag team partner before the Money in the Bank match? Someone who's shown she's prone to extreme actions? Like hitting my client with a car? Don't be dumb about this. Maybe you're right. Ava does have something to gain if she could maneuver her way into the match. I still respect the choice you made the night of your last tag team championship match. But that doesn't mean I've changed my opinion. That girl is just waiting to take advantage of you. More than she's done already. But we'll see soon enough how it plays out for Ava when WWE announces the final entrant. Dude, did you hear about this hashtag dark pod thing for the women's elimination chamber? There's gonna be like a whole human in one of the chamber pods, but it'll be dark, so we won't know who it is until it opens. Yeah, I've heard about it, Riddle. It's wild. There's a lot of rumors flying around about who's going to be inside, so I gotta ask. Are you in the dark pod? Um, me? Yeah, I won't tell if you are. I'm not in the dark pod, Riddle. Oh, okay. So I gotta ask, am I in the dark pod? You? I won't tell if I am. I don't think so, Riddle. Oh, okay. Good to know. Thanks, bro. I can't believe that more people aren't guessing that I'd be in the dark pod. Are you in the dark pod? No, but I should be. I'm the best thing this women's division has got right now. I shouldn't be left out of this historic match. Hey, you may not be in the dark pod, but at least you're not in a goat head. Rude. Can't say we've ever had anything like a dark pod before, and I've seen a lot around here. Actually, you do see a lot around here, Tom. Any chance you know who's inside that dark pod? Why would you think I know that? I don't think you know, Tom. I'm just asking. Nope. Huh. Never knew you to be so short. You usually have a lot to say. <sighs> Good luck out there tonight, LJ. The SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line here tonight in one of the most highly anticipated Elimination Chamber matches of all time. 
Thanks to the all-time talents vying for the title and one mystery opponent. Any guesses on who's in there, Corey? If I were competing, I'd be terrified to see Ava Moreno walk out of that dark pod, especially in light of what she just did. She's got the shoulders down, and she kicks out. She still has her expelling unnecessary energy with that attempt. And some effective offense with that one. Caveman. Oh, unbelievable. Massive double foot stomp. Explodes through the chest with the stomp. Dewdrop getting worked on right now. Yeah, Dewdrop has to find a response quickly. Oh. That holds back Dewdrop's attack. Close line. And Agile escaped. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Oh, no. She could be caught here. Bad situation for her. She lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Lights out, Cyclone Kick. And she's been brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, she keeps getting cut down at the pass. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Got their opponent set up. That's right, Carmella. Let her. No, let them all know you are the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. She scores big with the counter. Now, desperately needs a way out. And there it is. 
That was impressive. Double underhook applied. Up and down. Face first. That could end Bailey's night. And Bailey has been eliminated. It's about to open. It's been the best kept secret in WWE since it was announced. Everyone's on the edge of their seats to find out who's inside. The wait is almost over because the mystery entrant into the elimination chamber is about to be revealed. It's Justine, WWE legend and Hall of Famer Justine is the mystery entrant into the elimination chamber match. One of these two women will be the next SmackDown Women's Champion. But how? We haven't seen Justine in the ring for over a decade since her career-ending injury. She certainly doesn't look injured to me, Corey. And she also doesn't look like she minds that the woman standing in the way of winning a championship is her niece. Justine immediately on the offensive. Setting her up. And down. It looks as if her niece was completely caught off guard by this. She's getting dominated in there. Wait a second, we've seen this before, but not in a very long time. It's vintage Justine here tonight. The Justine Jammer with the cover. One, two, three. It's over. We have a new SmackDown Women's Champion, and I can't believe I'm saying this. It's Justine. Justine is the new SmackDown Women's Champion. There were so many names thrown around about who was going to be in the dark pot, and Justine wasn't even on the list. Her niece must be shocked. I think the entire WWE Universe is shocked. I'm having flashbacks to 2002. Simply unbelievable that we are witnessing this right now. What a moment in WWE history. Did you know? That Justine was in the dark pod? No. They kept that secret under wraps, even from me. But I could have told you not to trust her, even though it would have been hard to convince you of that. I can't believe it happened. And I was there, getting pinned. She's my aunt. I'm supposed to be able to trust family. I thought I was like family when we were partners. And you know how that turned out. But there is an upside to having lived through that experience. What's that? I can help you now. Listen, no one knows your aunt like I do. I remember what she was like when she was on the main roster. What got under her skin, her toughest opponents, her regrets, her weaknesses. If you're on a collision course with her now, and you seem to be, you'll want me by your side to give you the best chance to beat her and win the championship that should have been yours. The best way to take down your aunt is to make her confront the past. Confront the past. Interesting idea. I'll think about it. Well, that was one of the wildest things I've ever seen in WWE. You're telling me. I know she's your family, but I can't get over how these legends come in and trying to make everything about them. Why can't the older generation stand aside and let us have our shine? They already Justine have certainly makes everything about her. But I don't care what kind of a miraculous recovery she may have had. Justine should have let me have my moment. Right? How can these WWE legends expect WWE to grow and move forward if they stay stuck in the past? I'm not the only one in the locker room who feels this way. If you need help with your aunt, you've got backup. I mean, these legends think they're hot, but put them up against a faction of the top and upcoming current superstars and we shut them up real fast. We need to force them to embrace the future. Embrace the future? Huh. You might have something there.
Our brand new SmackDown Women's Champion is here to address the WWE Universe after her shocking return and victory at Elimination Chamber. So, I have a little bit of an announcement to make. I've been medically cleared. Surprise! You know, I thought I had closed the books on my WWE career. But being around here lately reignited a light I thought had gone out. As I got involved coming back into WWE, first with my podcast, and then as a manager, I started to wonder. Edge, Lita got second acts. Why not Justine? The more I gave, the more I realized, you need me. You need me because you deserve to see me finally reap the rewards of the path I trailblazed to fulfill the promises that I wasn't able to keep when my career got cut short to- What the hell? <laughs> I was wondering when you would show up. Figured you would, given how much you like to ride my coattails. What are you talking about? Why didn't you tell me you were cleared? And why haven't you called me back? Would you have paid attention if I had? After the way you laughed at me when I suggested we team up for the Money in the Bank tag team match? After you never thought to ask me how I was doing whenever I mentioned my doctor's appointments? I'm beginning to think I should have set up those lighting rigs to fall over on you instead. You did it. Why wouldn't I? Because I'm an old, washed up, past her prime legend. Girly, you best not insult me, because I taught you everything you know. LJ. Too bad you don't have the goods to back it up. I gotta admit, I was touched when you decided to wear a version of my gear for your debut. But it was probably at that moment when I started to realize that you don't have what it takes to finish what I started. That I'd have to do that myself. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, LJ? You followed me around like a shadow your entire life and you don't understand when you decided not to use the chair in your main event match with Ava? Did you think you could get ahead by following the rules? <laughs> Cute. That's not how it works. I would never have made that mistake. Because I've always known exactly what I want. What I needed to do. In a world that was five times as hard and seven times as brutal for me. I tried to push you. But you wouldn't even take advice from me, a WWE legend. Decided to stay loyal and help your leech of a friend, Ava, instead. You know the difference between you and me, LJ? I've never been content walking in someone else's path. And I never had the luxury. I've always had to make my own. My head is spinning here. Justine's not only back, but she's put a target on her niece? Justine's certainly drawn a line in the sand here tonight. How do you even respond to a betrayal like that? From a member of your own family? I think we're about to find out. And I have a feeling that whatever she has to say, it could have some big ramifications for the WWE Universe. You know what I find curious, Auntie? that for someone who's so adamant about creating her own path, you're pretty consistent in bringing up the past and what you've already done. Boo-hoo, I'm Justine. It was so hard for me. <laughs> I don't doubt it. But I also don't see any other WWE legend standing in the ring right now telling a sob story about unfinished business. Maybe that's because they accomplished what they set out to do. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? If you failed because you were so mistreated, put upon, and unlucky with an injury, or if you failed because you just don't have what it takes. You shut your mouth. 
No! I'm done listening to what you have to say. And I'm done asking for your advice. The only thing I'm asking for, the only thing I'm demanding is to set the record straight. You think you're so powerful that the only thing that stopped you back in your day were forces beyond your control? <laughs> Some sort of big bad that had it out for you? Then I'm going to tear apart your past and prove that it wasn't them, whoever you think of them is. It was you, Justine. Weak, powerless, a lot of talk and no action. And then, then I'm going to tear you apart. And at WrestleMania, take the SmackDown Women's Championship. Did we just see a WrestleMania match being made? I think we did, Saxton. And I got to admit, it's not a matchup I thought we'd ever get on the grandest stage of them all. And I also don't think we've ever seen a statement that powerful from this superstar. I've got to agree, Corey, and if Justine's going to have her past torn apart in any way, well, let's just say there's a lot to unravel there.